India. India. Yeah. Okay. The whole world is coming here. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. That's the reason I always want to ask people where they're from. You're from? Chicken Republic. Jenny. Wow. I rest my case there. Eh? <laughs> Are you? Florida. Florida. Unbelievable. From everywhere. <laughs> Even het een seintje geven als iedereen binnen is. Doe. It's, a, it's moving a little bit. This morning I had people from California and I just asked them, are, is there some forest left over after all the... It's unbelievable. We see it on television. All the cities are being on fire now. Yeah, in Florida? No, California. California, this moment. Yeah. I saw a beautiful houses that burned down. Okay, that's unbelievable. Yeah. There's a problem in the world. Everybody in Haven? Not, not yet? Okay. You see, these three saw frames together are 5,500 kilos. So to get them up and down, they really need each other. So the one, the one is going up, the other is going down. It's dancing. Baila e cantar. Any Spanish people around? You are? The próximo año hablas español perfecto. Hoy no. Hoy no. Mujeres de español es muy guapa. That's a nice word, sentence I know. It's true, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Iedereen is binnen? Oké. Okay. I stop joking now. <laughs> you see, what I told you outside, I can roll out the rope connected to the winch over here and the winch over there. I bring it to the end of the slope, I uh, put a big chain around it, and I bring it in the local wind power. Okay. Then I cut it off the length I need outside, I take off the bark with this knife, and I bring it in further. When we are sawing, you see, we just uh, try to saw this one, but we need a little bit more wind. Every time the saw frame is going up and down, this arm is going up and down. It's connected to steel, two steel bars over here. And when I connect it like this, I am moving forward very slowly because there's hardly wind. So I just want to disconnect it now because otherwise my windmill will stop. You have, to, you have to understand that my whole wagon with the log moves forward. So when, my, when the log is finished, the top of the wagon is over there. And I want it to have it over there when I want to put a new log inside. And therefore, I've got this middle winch with this rope. It's connected to a wheel on the end of the shed. The rope is coming back. It will be connected to the steel eye. I bring it in the log. On the end, you can imagine that it will lift up the log. I bring back the wagon. I leave down the log like this. I connect it with steel bars. You can see, I line it out, connect it with steel bars, saw it, open up the doors in the end of the shed, bring out the wood, dry it, and sell it. Sometimes, yesterday I was cutting a big log over here. This middle part, I put it over there, and we just brought it in here this morning. And we want to push this. When we finish the one over there, we're going to put the one over there, here, and cut it for the second time. Because that's what the client asks us to do. I can change the wooden blocks in between the saw blades and I can saw everything from two and a half up to 65. Everything in between. Depending what the client asks us to do. Well, I can talk the whole day. I'm not going to do it. Don't worry because you have to walk around and make some pictures. But I want to tell you one short story about particularly this windmill. I told you outside while well, was a part of the group. There used to be 630 windmills. About 100 years ago, they're almost gone because the electricity and steam came. Only 50 handfuls left over. This was a special one. It was in the center of Saint Dom. And in 1942, when it was terrible state, they wanted to extend the central station over there, they wanted to take it down. Before they took this one down, because it was a special one, they made very detailed drawings. Three of them we have on the wall. And by having these drawings, it was quite simple for us to rebuild this whole windmill in 2007 in one and a half year. And that's what we did do. And that's good for us. 
because it's an exact copy from the old one, but it's a new windmill, it's not a monument anymore. And that's the reason we can really work hard with it. During the winter time, when we don't have too, so much tourists, I can saw a log over here, a log over there, and I can cut it for the second time over here. So then we are cutting wood, four saw frames at the same time. And I can saw about two and a half meters an hour, so on four saw frames I can saw 10 meters an hour. That's quite much, because I can put as many saws as I, as I need. Well, inside the house, I don't know how much time you've got, there's an eight minute movie about the reconstruction of this window. Down the basement, there's not only a very nice exhibition about the amount of windows used in this area, there's also my colleague Peter, he can tell you and explain you something about windows, and especially wood. I want to thank you for coming and listening, and I want to give you one small warning. You know, three years ago, I was on the bus like tourists, like you. You know what happens? I had to be back at a certain time. So if you want to work with me, please miss the bus and stay with us. Thank you very much for coming Thank and listening you. and enjoy your stay in Holland. Thank, Thank you very much. much.